afternoon and welcome to Tribe Talk. I'm Abby. And I'm Hope. Today we'll be following an odd day schedule. Today the cafeteria will be serving lasagna with a dinner roll or garden fresh salad with sides of broccoli and pineapple. Tomorrow we'll be serving French toast with a side of sausage or turkey hoagie with sides of hash browns, peas, and peaches. Now on to Kieran with the weather. Thanks guys. Well, earlier this morning we had some rain and even a few thunderstorms. Well, that rain has pretty much seen to have winded down, but there is a chance that these rain showers will possibly continue to be likely this morning, along with the chance of thunderstorms. <coughs> We're also having some patchy fog this morning. <coughs> well, let me tell you, if any thunderstorms happen this morning, there is a chance that they may produce gusty winds. According to the Storm Prediction Center, this area is in a marginal risk of severe weather. Overall, today will start cloudy, along with everything that I just mentioned. And to, um, this afternoon, it will become mostly sunny. We're going to have a high of 84 and a low of 55. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy. Expect rain showers in the afternoon into the night, but tomorrow it won't be as warm. We're going to have a high of 66 and a low of 49. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kieran. Now let's get into our top stories. Mindfulness video for Mental Health Awareness Week. All right, uh, mindfulness, uh, what is it? It's, uh, it's paying attention on purpose in the uh, current moment without judgment, um, without getting carried away, so. There's a growing uh, body of research that, that shows that mindfulness can help uh, many different areas of your life, um, you know, mostly dealing with uh, focus and attention, concentration. Uh, it also can help with uh, emotional regulation. It helps with impulse control. Um, uh, what I like to do is I like to sit up straight I'm doing it. I also like to close my eyes. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically just talk you through uh, a couple minutes here. You don't necessarily have to change your breath. You just just noticing where you feel it. And whenever you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. All right. So, uh, I have a lot of techniques. I have a Schoology page. It's a group page. I think really anybody can have a, has, a, have a, has access to it. It's on Schoology. Uh, it's called Mindfulness, and I have di different techniques there. I'm in room 302. If anybody ever has any questions, you can you know, shoot me an email as well. I'm willing to stay after school if people want to do some of the stuff after school. I do have an IE period for um, day four. So it's about recognizing that you become distracted and then bringing your attention to where you want it to be. Thank you. Make sure you take breaks during this busy week to keep your mind and body healthy. One tool to help keep your mind in check is to join us for a rejuvenating experience during Arts Week and Mental Health Awareness Week. Project Live and Montgomery County Family Services are proud to promote mindfulness with a special event. Hi guys, I'm Ms. Malinsky and I'm one of your Project Live youth facilitators here at the high school. So Project Live with Montgomery County is putting together a free yoga event with courts during art. You'll week. notice some posters around the hallways with a QR code. We can take up to 50 participants from high school and middle school, ages 11 plus. When you get there, we just ask that you bring a yoga mat, a water bottle, and wear um, comfortable clothes. You're basically going to go through a yoga night that is for all levels. You can be a beginner or you can be intermediate. It, and it's honestly just a way to stretch, relax, and make some healthy decisions for your body. It's located at UPHS Gymnasium, May 10th from 5.15 to 6.15 p.m. Be sure to scan the QR code on the posters around the school to reserve your tickets. Now, on to our regular announcements. Uh -huh. 
The band and orchestra have a concert on Friday in the auditorium at 7. Make sure to show up and show your support. The last speech and debate meeting will be held today after school in the library. Elections for next year and plans for the dunk tank at Great Outdoors Day will be discussed. Club Couture will be hosting their fashion show on May 10th at 6 p.m. in the Audion. The theme is Greek gods and goddesses. Come out and support. Honors Anatomy and AP Biology students are invited for an advanced science visit at Lehigh Valley Health Network Center for Healthcare, Education, and their Simulation Lab on May 20th. Field trip permission forms are due to Mr. Austin or Mrs. Traub at your earliest convenience as there are only 25 seats for this trip. The music recital will be at 7 p.m. in the auditorium tomorrow night. Anyone can sign up and admissions are free. This event will be hosted by Sarah Fisher and Henry Queen. The Life Skills and Autistic Support classes will be holding a Mother's Day card sale this Thursday and Friday outside the cafeteria. Cards can be purchased in room 311 throughout the day. The cards are $1 each. That's all the announcements we have for today. Now let's get into some sports. Yesterday, girls varsity softball had a game against Pottsgrove. They won with a score of 4-3. Today, they have a home game against Miss Acton at 7 p.m. Come out and support the girls. Today's boys varsity and JV baseball will have an away game at Miss Acton. Good luck, boys. That's all the sports we have for today. That's all the fun and excitement we have on Tribe Talk today. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any announcements you would like to see on Tribe Talk, please feel free to scan the QR code outside Miss Barker's room or on the slideshow in the cafeteria. And from all of us on Tribe Talk, have a wonderful Wednesday.